Our response to Laudato Si began in September 2017 when we celebrated the season of creation and had a series of ecological faith conversations. This led to the parish registering as an eco-congregation and the whole parish being invited to sign the Laudato Si pledge. In 2018, we again celebrated our now annual season of creation and work began on our eco-garden project. By September 19, we were ready to introduce the garden formally to the parish and held a service of blessing during Creation Week led by Father Syriac and Reverend David Coleman of Echo Congregation Scotland. The local children from St Ninian's Primary came along to help us with lovely singing and prayers and many parishioners attended who had been involved in one way or another in getting the garden started. The children unveiled formally the beautiful board they had made for us and they have continued to contribute artwork and prayers in September 2020 and this year little peace banners in the 23 languages of our parish and school for our peace poll to be blessed at Pentecost 2021. For our SWIFT project, SWIFTs are in massive decline at the moment and this is partly because of lack of places to nest because of buildings being renovated and their nesting holes being blocked up. So we had great help from Stuart from our congregation. He made us five nesting boxes um, suitable for SWIFTs. Uh, Jim also from our congregation was able to provide scaffolding and put them into position. Um, and uh, Peter uh, helped with the with the sighting of the boxes, uh, but also he's made us um, a, a bug hotel from uh, designed and made a bug hotel from recycled materials, which is sited in our eco garden, and we hope this will improve the numbers of flying insects, which is the other reason for the decline of swifts. Their only food source is flying insects, and these also have declined, dec declined greatly in recent years because of the use of pesticides and because of loss of habitat. So we now hope that the swifts um, will come and take up residence. You can see the nest boxes in the top right hand photo. They're reddish in colour and they're sitting just under the roof. The left hand photos show their installation. <laughs> 